Hey guys, welcome back to Oxangel LC. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to balance the motors and props and basically how to balance both of them together on the quadcopter. Uh, now, if you see uh, the footage here from the E350 uh, Pioneer, you can see that there are no vibrations per se, but there's this uh, kind of shaking when the copter is flying around, which is um, not bad. You know, for, for most cases, that would be uh, perfectly fine unless you're really trying to get some perfectly stable footage, which is uh, not an easy task on easy platforms like this and if they're not DJI. Uh, so <clears throat> I actually wanted to... Uh, I've balanced the props separately and uh, I actually wanted to balance the motors and the props together for even be better results because once I put the props on the motors, uh, things didn't feel quite as good as they could have. Now, to do that, uh, having the telemetry unit for the Pioneer is a good idea. So here it is, working, blinking, and connecting to the computer. This will make uh, the whole thing a whole lot easier. Uh, so just a quick word on the whole telemetry unit. On the uh, side that plugs into the PC, uh, there's a switch on the side. When you move the switch to one position, it works. When you move the switch to the other position, it stops working. I'm really not sure what's that about. Uh, but, you know, I just had to show it. Uh, move to one position, it works. Move to the other one, it doesn't work. It doesn't disconnect Mission Planner. It just doesn't work. So if it if if you get the telemetry unit and it doesn't work, push the switch in the other direction and see if that uh, gets it working. But the telemetry will definitely greatly help uh, in this situation. So once that is connected, uh, we uh, you have to start the uh, mission planner on your laptop. Select the correct the correct COM port. Select the correct speed uh, and click connect. If all is good, uh, you will actually see this happening and the parameters will start to load. Uh, depending on uh, how this is set up, uh, it may take a bit longer. It probably isn't going to be faster than this. Uh, but yeah, the, the switch is in the correct place and telemetry is working. A quick show of the stock parameters before we begin, uh, just if somebody wants to... Uh, keep them or see them uh, for some reason. So we go to uh, initial setup and then we go to optional hardware and motor test. And here you can throttle up each motor from Mission Planner separately uh, without uh, the need for a radio. Uh, just set up the throttle at 45 or 50% and when you click uh, one of the throttle buttons, it will spin for that period of time that you've set up. So now that this is working, uh, you can actually very gently hold the arm under the motor and see how much vibration there is uh, when just spinning the motor without a prop on. Uh, if there are no vibrations, uh, or even if there are, just mount the prop, tighten it, and try the same thing. Just hold it very gentle. Don't even touch it. Just lightly, lightly hold your fingers uh, next to the uh, arm and you will feel vibration if there's any and please try not to cut yourself on the propeller I've been doing this for a while and uh, I'm used to it and I haven't cut myself yet so <clears throat> once you determine that the motor and prop uh, need balancing uh, you take a zip tie and you tie it around the motor bell just like that and uh, once tightened properly, uh, cut off the excess uh, and uh, then just pick one of the uh, ribs on the bell on the top and align the, uh, the zip tie, the, the bulk part of the zip tie with that one. Mark it with a marker so you know where you're starting. And uh, you can put the prop back on actually. But this this is how you would know uh, where the zip tie started and just choose a direction. Uh, first of all, try it like this. Uh, hold the arm and spin it and try it like this. See how the vibrations are compared to no zip tie. 
and now move it uh, to move it some distance or to another uh, part of the bell. Choose a direction and keep moving in that direction and try again. And it will take a few tries, <clears throat> but once you find the correct spot, move the, uh, the bulk part of the zip tie back to that spot and make sure again that it's working perfectly. And uh, that way you can, you don't need to remove the zip tie. Uh, you can use electrical tape, tape instead of the zip tie, but I prefer the zip tie, it's easier. So uh, it's easy to do. And uh, you can mark where the zip tie should be. And if it, for some reason, if it moves, you can always bring it back. So do those fine adjustments uh, at some, some point, if the motor is too big or too disbalanced, you may need to add a second zip tie. Don't be afraid to do that as long as you can balance both prop and motor together. So that's how I did it on the Pioneer uh, E350. If you want to learn more, please visit my blog at archangelrc.blogspot.com uh, or my YouTube channel, and I will see you soon.